Kids grow up fast, too fast. That's why capturing life's precious moments as your family grows and changes is so important. Sometimes you don't even realize the benefits of family portraits until later in life. But people often opt out of taking regular family photos in order to avoid the stress that goes into planning them. Stephanie Kay is a photographer and owner of SK Photography. She's joining us to give us some advice on how we can take family photos and make this special moment that's more about joy and less about stress. Welcome, Stephanie. Hi, how are you? Good, <laughs> thank you so much for coming in today. What is the value of family portraits? Honestly, um, life happens way too fast. Like my firstborn is 15 years old and I feel like yesterday he was born. So I feel like there's never, there's never something that you don't wish you can like go back and see and right. remember. So I feel like you, there is no like real price tag on the value of them. Like I, I love being able to look back at all the memories. So I feel like it's something super important. <laughs> yeah, and to see those changes. Mm -hmm. Why do you think so many people often opt out of doing this? Oh, so many reasons. I feel like so many people opt out of it because of the stress of it, whether it's their children are getting older and they're like, no, we don't want to do it again. We just did it like last year. Or, um, you know, I have some clients whose, whose children are like out of high school and in college. So it's really tough getting them together all at once, um, especially if they're coming back for like holidays or something. Schedules can get super busy. Um, and the other thing is as simple as they don't understand or want to deal with how to figure out a wardrobe so we have tips for that we do <laughs> so when it comes to your wardrobe what are some things that you should think of should we just all be in the same color uh, no please no <laughs> so, um, here's the thing I recommend wearing coordinating but not matching outfits um, so picking a color scheme that is something that represents you, something that maybe represents the season, um, and that like looks well with your color scheme. And I know a lot of people don't understand, like, well, what looks good with my color, um, or my skin tone, or anything like that, or my family's vibe. That's where I come in. I have a wardrobe guide that I send to all of my clients, um, and it goes through talking points. I think the first thing is I, I ask the mom, like, okay, so what are we going to put you in? Is it going to be a dress? Is it going to be um, jeans and a top or whatnot? So I help pick that. And then from there, we go to the girls in the family, and then the boys are last because it's so easy to just plug in a boy's oh, yeah. outfit. Um, and no patterns. What are the biggest don'ts? Um, some of the biggest don'ts are don't have too many patterns. It's too busy. So I suggest, depending upon the size of the family, like one person in a pattern. Um, maybe two if it is like four or more people in the family. So typically I like this pattern to be on either the mom or a daughter. Um, I come in helpful for this because with my wardrobe guide it also explains my wardrobe closet. Um, and here's the thing, one of the biggest stresses of finding family outfits is they don't want to go buy you know right. two three hundred dollars worth of clothes just to go get family photos so I have a wardrobe closet um, it is packed full of different sizes different dresses I have very little boy stuff right now as far as like like older kids and like the dads but I can almost always dress all the girls in the family. Um, so I'll pick a pattern I'll pick some dresses and have them pick and then from there, we'll just kind of pick through the rest of the items. <laughs> so. All matching together, but not identical. Not everyone in navy blue shirt and Correct. tan bottoms. So let's take a look at some examples of different lifestyle photographs and just making it seem more like natural, not so posed. So yeah. we have some up right now, but what do you love and why do you recommend doing more of a lifestyle type shoot? Um, so that is something I specialize. I specialize in lifestyle because it's more real and it's more authentic. Um, I think, <laughs> oh, that's my nephew. Um, so I feel that they're more fun. They bring out the real smiles in people. Um, they are less stressed because so many people are like, well, I don't want to be posed. Or, and then they're focused on forcing a smile. And I right. want a real smile. That's why I focus on the lifestyle side of things. So are they joking around and you just kind of telling them to have conversation while you're just capturing these moments? Yeah. So a lot of times um, I'll maybe play games with the kids. I'll be like, oh, hey, fun. let's play like Ring Around the Rosy. Like have the parents in the center and we'll play Ring Around the Rosy. Maybe we'll play Patty Cake. Um, 
I will I will literally tell people, hey, everyone look at each other and make a fake laugh, ha ha ha, and then it will present a real laugh because right. they're like, really, what? So um, I might have them hold hands and just like play line leader, especially if there's younger children. I feel like every elementary school has line leader. Mm -hmm. Maybe, I know my kids do, but I'll say, okay, let's play line leader, and then we'll play line leader, and they'll just be like, just follow me, just come with me, and like, they're laughing, they're having fun, they're looking back at each other, and it's, you capture the real, authentic smiles, um, and their real personalities. Right, it just, to me, looks a lot better, too. What are your biggest pieces of advice or tips that you have to making this a stress-free photo shoot or steps to a stress-free photo shoot? So let your kids be involved. Um, tell them like, hey, this is gonna be fun. Um, what is something you wanna bring? Like I might tell them to bring something that makes them happy if it's a younger kid because sometimes younger children, they don't quite listen. Um, the biggest thing I say though is make it fun. Um, I feel like some of the most stressful shoots that can happen is if a mom and dad is like worried that their child is running all over the place and um, you start to see the tension because yeah. they're like you know get over here like start listening start smiling like let's make it fun um, I usually tell the parents let me let me handle the kids I promise that's okay if they're running around I promise we're gonna get better smiles if we just like relax um, I also advise like snacks for kids um but i do have some don'ts on snacks i do not bring them like <laughs> colored candy cheetos. and cheetos and doritos and stuff because that stuff stains right. real fast their fingers their mouth their clothes so um, i do actually have a guide that that i send to my clients prior to their shoot that gives them these tips too so it makes it less stressful for them right having the snacks is a big one because we yes. don't want anyone hangry right <laughs> i know i don't like it hangry <laughs> right all right well thank you so so much for coming in today and telling us more and sharing some tips i know that family portraits have changed a lot in the mm -hmm. years but i love the lifestyle look so thank you so much yes thanks for having me it's been fun <laughs>